Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at something that Google just unveiled, which is Google Jewels, uh, which is kind of similar to what OpenAI has already introduced, which is the Codex. So let's just talk about Codex first. On May 16th, OpenAI unveiled something really exciting because they wanted to bring out an agentic approach to software development. That's why they introduced Codex. Obviously, the naming convention is something that they are already bad at. But what Codex basically does is it is a user interface runs on the cloud, which gets connected to your GitHub repository and you can treat it as your software developer in turn. So basically you can assign a lot of tasks to it. It has the GitHub repository access. It can go to that particular repository, make changes to it, set up pull request, set up push request, and you can review this and you can append all of the changes in your repository. So this can be a game changer for big engineering teams to actually be more productive and do tasks simultaneously. So recently Google IO event just happened and Google unveiled something similar, which is Google jewels. We are going to take a look at it today, try it out and see how it actually performs. But what it basically does is it's again similar to codex, which has the access to your repository and you can ask it to do specific tasks to it, make some changes, take care of certain issues and do small changes that are possible in the code base. Once we go to the jewels website, this is how it basically looks like the URL is jewels.google.com. So you have logged in. This is how it basically looks like. This is the UI and it will ask you to connect your GitHub account with jewels. Once you do that, it will pull all the repositories that you have, which you can see by clicking the drop down. And you can select whichever repository you want it to work on. And then here we have a prompt box where we can write any task that we want to delegate. So I just created a notepad named repository, which is completely empty. If I come to notepad, it's completely empty. What I want to do is I want to give it a task to implement a small notepad app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and see how it performs and we'll see how it make changes in the GitHub repository as we move along. So I have given it a prompt saying implement a HTML, CSS and JavaScript based full page notepad web app. It, I can also select the branch, but right now we are working in the base branch. So there are no other branches that are available. So I'll click on, give me a plan. Because it's recently launched, so it's experiencing heavy traffic, but we should see some improvement soon. We'll wait for it to work. So we can see that it's now cloning the repository. And this is the plan that it has come out with. We can either approve plan or make changes to it. Let's just approve the plan. Now it's working on the files one by one. We'll wait for it to complete. On the right side, we can see that all the files are now being created and it's writing the code for each file. The great thing about software engineering agent is that it also tests the application. So whatever changes it is doing in the code, it will also write test scripts and run it also. Now we can see that it has completed the task and it is saying it is ready for review. It also gives an idea of what changes that were done and it also creates a branch for it to actually merge it with our main branch. It has created a new branch for us at feature slash notepad web app. I can quickly click publish branch and I should see these changes in my GitHub repository. We'll wait for it to complete. We can see that it has been pushed. We can see the view branch button. Now, if I click on it, I can see that Jules just made a lot of changes and created these files. I can click on them and see what code it basically wrote. This will unlock a lot of things in the software engineering realm because we can have a software engineer, which is intelligent in our team and can work asynchronously throughout the day on multiple tasks. So I think Google is going in a really good direction and the overall general industry in the software development 
when it comes to AI code generation is going in a really good direction, including Codex. It will be really interesting to see how these things become much more advanced and much more capable. So stay tuned. I'll be covering all of these things. Do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.